Hello. So today I wanted to talk about kind of my first trimester recap. I'm actually <laughs> in the 20th week now. The first trimester passed me by in what felt like forever, but actually went pretty quick. <laughs> it was totally different than my round one with Evie. Got a little phone call there for a second, but as I was saying, also I have a little bit of a cold today, like congestion, so that's why I sound a little weird. But as I was saying with Evie when I was pregnant, I also found out a little pretty early. I found out probably around the time that I found out with this one, which is around like five or six weeks. But I found out with her and I was in grad school. I went to class and did everything every day and I had almost no pregnancy, like any of those negative symptoms. Like I had very, very minimal morning sickness. I would just like feel kind of gross at night but very minimal and not very many food aversions. Like there was a little bit of a period where like making meat at home was like kind of gross, but overall there was nothing. I didn't have heartburn. I didn't have annoying food aversions or even like extra tiredness I didn't really have. And you know, they say every pregnancy is different and it's, it's true. Number two has been almost exactly the opposite in every way. I still did not throw up with this one thankfully, but there were many times where I thought I was going to. I had a lot of food aversions for pretty much around 16 weeks where just most foods sounded gross to me. It just was not fun. For the most part, like I said, there were a lot of foods that felt gross to me or like sounded gross to me. I didn't want them. My favorite is food in all the land, mac and cheese. Hated it. Like just the sound of the squelching was just too much. <laughs> I just did not even want mac and cheese. I did have food aversions. I also did have indigestion and not really like heartburn, but just like indigestion after I ate like every time. Oh, I did have Tums, did keep them by my bed and they were helpful, but it just was not comfortable. So a couple things that are a little TMI and I feel a little bit weird about putting on the internet, but I had a lot of issues with like constipation and gas. Now I always knew that when you were growing a baby, Things move around, things slow down, so I knew that. But again, it never really happened with Evie, so I didn't really think about it. There were times during this pregnancy in the first trimester where <laughs> I had terrible, like, gas pain. Like, my stomach super hurt, and it was just terrible. It was really uncomfortable. And same with constipation. Like, you know, I would try to eat more fiber, and I would drink apple juice, and I ate greens, and it was still just slow and it made me feel really bloated and just gross. So that was really uncomfortable. I think my most frustrating, um, my most frustrating symptom that I had and still have and will most likely have the entirety of this pregnancy is pregnancy rhinitis. So that's also what's kind of giving me congestion right now, but it's just like I have even more than usual. In general, pregnant or not, I always have like sinus -y issues anyways where I'm like kind of low-key congested most of the time, pretty much all the time. But around, okay, so I found out a little bit before five weeks. Right before I went for like my dating ultrasound, I'll get into that a little bit later, I started feeling like I was getting a cold or allergies or something. Just like more congestion than usual a lot of um, post-nasal drip and just like upper sinus congestion. And it continued for weeks. And I'm not really one that likes to take things when I'm pregnant, but I tried a few things. Um, my doctor had given me a list of pregnancy approved medicines. So I took a couple different things on there trying to like see if that would help relieve my congestion and nothing ever really worked. So I was looking around and apparently that can happen for people, pregnancy rhinitis. And I was kind of hoping that it would go away after a number of weeks because I saw that a lot of people seem to get relief maybe after like 12 weeks or so. But then I also was reading that some people don't have any relief, it stays until like up to 10 days after they deliver. So I'm 20 and a half weeks now, still going strong on congestion. I'm assuming I'll be one of those that just has it the whole time and it's not awesome especially like the post-nasal drip, that sometimes still like makes me gag. Like I haven't thrown up 
but if I do at all, it will be because of that, because it's awful and disgusting, and I hate it. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about is just when I got pregnant. Like I just mentioned, the dating ultrasound I had. So, so far I've had two ultrasounds. I had one at six weeks, and I actually just had the anatomy scan on Wednesday. Um, tonight we're actually inviting people over to see what the gender is, so I'll probably be posting a little video about that. When I did get pregnant, we weren't actively, or I wasn't actively thinking about trying as much as I had in the previous years, because um, it took us quite a while to get pregnant with number two. Um, I was actually kind of in a place where I was almost like, wow, she's older now. It's actually pretty nice, and I'm not sure that I would necessarily want to start all over again, because that sounds hard. <laughs> but of course, you know, when you think those things, bam, sometimes it happens, and it did for us. But when it happened, it was right after we had come back from vacation, and my period's always been really irregular. So my previous, well, my last period that I had was at the end of May, and I did get pregnant at the end of July. So when I found out I was pregnant, I wasn't really quite sure when it was. We had had a couple weeks of vacation in between that time and just, I don't know. I knew it was a few different dates most likely. I was looking at my last period date, which was the end of May. And so by the time I found out, I would have been around 12 weeks. Whereas when I went in to get the ultrasound, I would have been around six weeks. So I wasn't sure which one that was, and so they had me come in for a dating ultrasound. Turns out it was six weeks, which truthfully I'd been hoping for the later one because who doesn't want to get it over with sooner? Overall, it was just a really huge surprise, and I'm really happy that it did happen, and I'm excited to find out what it was, but honestly, I kind of wish that I wasn't finding out what it was. Well, this is my second baby, and once again, they always say that things happen sooner. And that is true. I did start feeling like I was showing sooner, but it was really this last week, maybe two, that I, to me, really started showing. I have been feeling it move, but I'll talk more about that maybe in another, another video, maybe the second trimester update. Throughout this pregnancy so far, I have been pretty tired, although I am feeling better now. I was working a lot more up until a few weeks ago. So now that I have a little bit more time at home, that's been nicer to just stay on top of things at home and just not feel quite as busy. So I've been really thankful for that. Throughout the whole first trimester, I was kind of very pessimistic about the whole thing. There was one incident mm, pretty much the week after I had had that six-week ultrasound where when I wiped, there was a good amount of bright red blood. And... When that happened, I instantly was like, oh, it's done. Like, I'm, we're not having a baby. And we had just finished telling, like, most of our immediate family. I didn't want to tell everyone until later. I did tell more people than I meant to. But, yeah, on that day, like, I was convinced that that was the end. We weren't having a baby. It was done. And I just kept thinking, like, I should have known this was, happen was going to happen. I should have assumed. I shouldn't have told anyone. After that happened that day and the next couple days, I was just kind of waiting for basically like the other shoe to fall, like for something more to happen and for me to just be like, yep, it's done. But nothing did happen. Um, I did call my doctor and they said, that's probably fine. It's probably normal. Just ask them on your next appointment. When I did go in, they were like, yeah, it's probably fine. You haven't had anything else since. But even then, like I was just really pessimistic the whole time. Even as it was getting closer to 12 weeks, I was just like, no, like... It's not going to happen. It's not going to stay. Like, something's going to go wrong. Even until this last 20-week appointment, I was convinced that, like, on the ultrasound, like, it wouldn't be. Or something would happen. Something would be wrong. Which I'll talk more about that ultrasound at another time. But <laughs> for now, yeah, the whole, especially the first trimester, I was just really feeling like I couldn't really be happy about it. And I couldn't really think about it and plan for it because I was just so convinced that it wasn't going to happen. Um, I did feel some of that go away when we reached the second trimester, but I mean, even now, <laughs> I'm still a little bit like, will it really, maybe it'll feel more real when I know what this baby's going to be and just all of that, but I'm not really sure. A couple things that I really liked 
using during my first trimester and still do actually. Um, the what to expect pregnancy app. I used it with my first. It's just nice to see like updated every week how big it is and just like what's going on in there. But one thing that my daughter really liked was the pregnancy or is <laughs> the pregnancy plus app because on that one it has kind of like a 3D baby simulator and it's like you can kind of like hear sounds of like a womb and you can like pick from a few different baby styles and just kind of see it growing. Um, so all the time she would ask me like, can I see the baby? And so I just opened my phone to that app and she would like get to see it. And for a while it looked kind of like a hammerhead shark and it was just weird, but you know, they get cuter. I don't really know what else to say about the first trimester. It felt like forever. It felt like I would never feel like myself again. I was kind of waiting for that 12 week mark or like around there to start feeling more myself. And like I said, I didn't really start feeling that way until around 16 weeks, so that wasn't my favorite. <laughs> but I guess I will do like a little belly shot video for a second. I'm not really a huge one for doing these, but I just thought I would. Like I said, I'm 20 weeks, so this is not a first trimester belly shot, but I'm just gonna put it in here anyways, cause whatever. I'm not used to it yet and I feel really awkward. 